Roblox has been around for a very long time. In fact, it's been around longer than most of you watching this video have been alive for. Yes, Roblox was made in 2006, and little Timmy watching this video was born in 2008. But unlike his friends, he chose to watch a good video. Not like Coco Melon, the, which is what the brain dead people who don't like and subscribe to this channel watch. I'm not even sure if we're allowed to say that on YouTube, but who cares? Prop to little Timmy, you have the gold st Having over 40 million games on the platform, and Roblox being very similar to Steam, one of the largest problems that is presented is finding a new Roblox game to play when you are bored. You come home from school on a Friday hoping your parents haven't checked your grades since you are indeed failing math and science. But instead of working on your grades and getting them up, you decide to turn your computer on and go to the Roblox. But you are tired of playing the same clicker game over and over, and indeed, you do not want to be brain dead like those who watch Coco Melon. I'm still positive that Coco Melon bots the views. Like, who is watching this crap? 142.8 million views per day? That's like double what Mr. Beast gets per day. Anyways, back on topic, we are going to take a deep dive into a Roblox game called Roblox Arsenal. Yeah, 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 you may have heard of it. It's not like it's a front page game that's been there since 2015. We are going to look at the game, how it's played, the replay value, the multiplayer value, and give it a score out of 10 whether or not Roblox Arsenal is a game that you can play when you are in fact bored and do not want to be made fun of by your friends for watching Coco Melon. Roblox Arsenal is a game that was created back in 2015 and has been updated over the years to become one of the most popular Roblox shooter games on the platform. The goal of the game is to become the first person to 33 kills. Each time you get a kill, a new weapon is given to the player, and these weapons can be from pistols to bananas. The silly cartoon style gameplay helps with the fast paced style of the game. So let's look at our very first category of this series, the graphics. But I can tell you Arsenal graphics are much better than Coco Melon's graphics. Like, for crying out loud, what 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 is this? This is supposed to be a human? Well, Arsenal is no game that's gonna win best graphics awards with the newer games such as Frontline paving the way for AAA quality games to come out. You gotta remember that Arsenal is a cartoon shooter and the graphics hold up to the style of the game. Since the game isn't a heavy graphical game, I would have to give it a 6.5 out of 10. But since it's way better than this Coco Melon crap, I'll have to give it a 7.5 out of 10. The learning curve on a game like Roblox Arsenal is pretty simple. Run around and aim your cursor at people and kill them. Hitting the three key allows you to pull out your knife, which allows you to run faster than with your main weapon. Crouching using the shift or C key allows the player to lower the hitboxes. Lowering your hitbox allows you to make it harder for others to hit you. Headshots do more damage than body shots. So with that being said, the hardest aspect of Roblox Arsenal to master is learning how not to turn on Cocomilla mid uh, round. Um, I swear my script writers that I hired for this video are on something, but since this has to be PG-13 and YouTube removed my last large series, I tried free Minecraft alt generators for being quote unquote dangerous. I really can't risk anything risky on YouTube for now. But if you guys do want to learn more about that and what happened with that video, you can click the I right there. But with that being said, <coughs> the hardest to master part of Roblox Arsenal is running how each weapon works and how to use them to your advantage. I would have to rate the learning curve of Roblox Arsenal a 5.6 out of 10 since it's not hard, but there is a little bit of a learning curve for new players or people who are not used to shooter games on Roblox. Arsenal has many different game modes, from classic to clown infection, given a high replay value compared to other games on Roblox, such as role-playing games or clicker-style games, and much higher than Coco Melon's Johnny Johnny Yes Papa song. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy myself a good clicker here and there when I need to get some time to kill from my brain rotting away from the professor talking about math for 10 hours. But sometimes I do enjoy a game that's more, more than just clicking a button. And that's where Roblox Arsenal comes in. Arsenal also has a large number of different maps you can play that viewers vote on. Meaning each round will be different as different players in the lobby, different game modes are being played, different weapons are given to players. 
So I would have to rate the replay value of Roblox Arsenal a 9 out of 10. As for a Roblox game, the dev team did a really good job giving the game fresh and new every single time you play it. As many of you guys know, Roblox is about getting your friends together and playing a new game after failing all your classes and hoping your mother does not know you failed. Unless you are in fact like me and have no friends. One like on this video is uh, one more friend I can add to the basement here. Don't tell the government that I have people in the basement here. Anyways, while Arsenal doesn't hold any real multiplayer uh, value to it, as the game is a single player based game, on what I... <laughs> what am I even trying to say here, to be honest? These damn script writers thinking that they can make the video longer by claiming Arsenal... <laughs> anyway, Roblox Arsenal has multiplayer value to it, so I would have to rank it a, a zero out of 10 there's literally no multiplayer aspects of the game at all and i hope you guys are not cross teaming with all the info review we can decide if this game roblox arsenal is really worth your time playing when you are bored huh 7.5 out of 10 for graphics 5.6 for learning curve 9 out of 10 for replay value but a shocking 0 out of 10 for the multiplayer value as there's absolutely no multiplayer value in a first person shooter like game. So that would make the final score come out to, um, hmm, that can't be right. A 7.8 out of 10? Well, this means Roblox Arsenal is indeed a game worth playing when you are in fact bored. Well, my job here is done. If you indeed, in fact, enjoy this content you just watched here, feel free to join Discord server, link down below. And drop a like and subscribe as it helps us get to 20,000 followers on this channel. Also comment down below what other Roblox games you'd like to see me do a review on. And until next time, have a great day and enjoy Roblox Arsenal. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd like to give a big thanks to my channel members and Twitch subscribers. Feel free to pick another video from this end screen if you like.